Lindsay here at The Frugal Crafter. As you know, I love my ink tense pencils. Actually, all my art pencils are just always held a special place in my heart, and um, it's very important you take care of them. And when I got a request to do a video on how to sharpen a pencil, I thought that, you know what, that's a skill we all should know. You've probably thought I've lost my mind and I've really run out of topics if I'm showing you how to sharpen a pencil, but really, um, it sounds silly, but there is kind of a right and wrong way to do it. So um, there's two different things I'll use to sharpen my pencils. Um, art pencils, especially watercolor pencils, have a really nice thick lead and you want to kind of conserve the color. So sometimes, um, if I want to conserve the color, I will use a craft knife and I will sharpen them into a container like this, just trying to whittle away the, um, the wood while leaving the pigment intact. So I'm very gently just going to whittle off the wood until I just start to see the lead. You'll be surprised at how thick, like the ink tense pencils are, how thick the lead is. And I've been like, I'm drooling over the ink tense blocks for like a couple months now. I honestly, it's, I cra it's crazy. I keep visiting them in the store online and putting them in my cart and taking them out. It's quite pathetic really. But then as I like, I, I'm whittling these off, I'm seeing that there's really probably as much um, color in one pencil as there are in one block. So that's good to know. So look at how much color you get and look at how little you waste. You can just pretty much just take the wood off and keep the uh, the color intact. So it's basically like having a woodless pencil. Now the other reason um, I recommend doing this is it's very gentle. You're not jarring the pencil and breaking that lead. That's how pencils um, are ruined is the lead breaks on the inside and then every time you sharpen it, it comes out. So sometimes though you want a point on your pencil, like perhaps you want to do some detail work or um, you know, or maybe just don't have a razor blade handy, um, don't use an electric sharpener. Use a, um, use a handheld sharpener because you're going to be not jostling. In an electric sharpener, it's going to get jostled around a uh, quite a bit. So in a regular pencil sharpener, a regular handheld one, and I like this because it contains all my shavings, you can, sh you can sharpen it until it's as pointy as you want. So if you want to have a nice detail, you can go pointier. If you want to conserve your lead, you can go less pointy. Now I want to show you what the pencil sharpener itself looks like. This is by Fiskars, I think. Um, made in Germany. I think it's Fiskars because of these colors. But you basically want a metal sharpener. It doesn't have to be encased. It could just be one that looks like that. You'll notice this little razor blades there. Those can actually be purchased and replaced. So you always have a nice sharp pencil sharpener. Although I've never had to replace one. I tend to lose them before I ever need to replace them. So that's how you sharpen a pencil. I know it's tempting to get out the electric pencil sharpener when you get a brand new box of pencils and you want them sharp now, but you're better off using a handheld or using a razor blade to sharpen them. And another tip I want to give you, when you um, buy a brand new set of pencils, um, sometimes they come pre-sharpened, the Derwent's come pre-sharpened, but, um, but like the Prismacolors don't, ooh, excuse me there, um, the crazy zooming angle, um, you want to sharpen them right off. And the reason why is because if you've bought these pencils and they've been dropped at the store or during shipment um, and you sharpen it and your leads start falling out, you want to return them and get some new pencils because if they've been dropped, the leads are broken on the inside and then the pencils are essentially ruined. You'll never have a good experience with them. So um, those are my pencil sharpening tips for you today. I hope they were helpful and uh, thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe and until next time, happy crafting.